All right. Just getting a few other things set here. Hopefully, morning's going well for you. I think it's supposed to be about 80 degrees today, so it should be a warm one. Hopefully, we'll be able to go outside a little bit. I'll pin myself, and then we'll get started. And now I'll make sure I take this off since that's going to be kind of in our way as we're going along here. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and show you all the toys that I got. I got a few of them here. So, um, we'll kind of work our way through. So, with this first one, just kind of getting our warm up in. I know I have my. I'm here so it should get kind of warm, but um, I just have all this stuff here just because it was kind of already in the area. So just grabbing any any of the toys that you do have. So um, uh, for this first one here, we're just going to start you off with that hip hinge just to kind of warm up those hamstrings in that lower back. So have your feet about shorter width apart here. You can have your hands on your side, even just focused on your thigh here, but we just want to go with that tilt back. Allow your head to kind of tilt with it and then come in right on up here. Just kind of go in right on through. One of these. Last one, and there we go. Good. So this is just gonna be for the torso a little bit. We're getting a twist side to side. So you just wanna go with that twist, going side to side here. Working each one. And good, there we go. So take a moment, shake those out. These are just gonna be arm circles for the arms here. There we go, let's go the opposite way of where you were going. There we go, good. So if this one's gonna be front and back here now, so this is gonna work that chest and upper back. So just loosely have those arms kind of going back and forth here. You can cross them over top, right? Kind of crisscross on each one. And good, there we go, good. So take a moment, shake those out. And our first few moves are going to be more so um, kind of balance and legs, or core and legs. And then we're gonna move on to some total body, then some isolated upper body moves. So for our first one, these are all gonna be pretty much right in line. We're gonna go through these a few times here. 45 seconds for each one of these. And I'll make sure that I get our timer set and our fan on over here. But um, what we're gonna do for that first one, this is just gonna be a dumbbell or a weight in hand, um, kettlebell, whatever you do have. Uh, this is gonna start us off with our right hand holding that weight. And then we're just gonna go back with our left or with our right foot, sorry. Um, but this is just gonna go on the clock. I'll make sure that I get that stuff set. Make sure that you do have a weight in that right hand. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. So. Um, hopefully you guys can still hear this timer. I know it's kind of loud here. So let's go right hand. And we're going to go right foot back. So it's just going to go right here. So the right hand has the weight. Going right foot back. Going up and down here. And 
next step that we're going to do. We're going to get we're halfway through already. And you get nice and controlled. As you do this, you have your arm up too. It's going all the way up like that. Like that. There we go. So take a moment, shake those up. We're going opposite sides. So again, you can have your arm out. Really think about your obliques as you work through this here. All right. So here we go. So going back now with your left foot. Going right there. As we're doing this, think about your obliques here. Think about your upper body. So that weight's going to try to pull you this way. Bring yourself back to center using that opposite side oblique. Keeping ourselves in torso as neutral as we can. Working your way through here. So this is going to be a going back to that right hand, and this is going to look a little different. So I'll give you more of a description. So we go back with that weight in our right hand. Don't worry about that time. I'll make sure I get that set up for us. But we just want to go right hand. Our right foot is back, and I'm doing a demo. So I'm, I'm having that in my right hand. As I go back, I shoot my hips back, and I'm going down to that leg. They come back up. If you look better with both hands, you can do with both hands too. All right. So here we go. Set up for that move. Right hand, right foot back. And here we go. So this one's just going to go right on the clock here. Then right foot back. I'm going down. As I sit my hips back, I'm going down. Do that left foot slightly. I kind of right inside that left foot. As I sit my hips back, I'm feeling that hamstring lengthen out. And I'm coming all the way back up. Here's what we did here. Keep it going. Last for There we go. Good. Switching the opposite side, doing that same thing. So I just kind of shoot from the front and my left foot back and I'm going back. One right here, sit my hips back, going towards that foot, just the inside of that foot here, and then come in right on up here. Remember to stand nice and tall at the top. Yeah. That's it, keep it going. There we go. Good. So moving on to our next thing here, and this is going to be a little bit more of our of our straight up legs. So we're going to go a little heavier, and what it's going to look like. You can go. You can even stay with that same. What we're going to do, we can hold that kettlebell or that dumbbell a little bit more here. We're going to do what I call an 80-20 squat. So our right foot is going to be solid. We're going to be loaded on that back or that left foot. So we can go out a little bit more. We can also keep it in nice and narrow. Or we're just doing a squat. Okay. So holding on to that while keeping most of the weight on our right foot loaded on the ball of our back foot here. So here we go. So this one's just going to go right here. Just going right on to it. So our right foot holding on to most of the weight. Your hips back. Just going right there. So going right on to it. Going up and down, just keep the majority of the weight on that right foot here. Again, as I get through this here, you can have that foot out or in. I'm just going right there, going up and down. You can also again have it out. Make that feel pretty sweet. 
but I'm just going to keep mine in. Just going up and down here. There we go. Good. So this is just going to go to the opposite side. Same thing, opposite side, it'll move on the side. A little different here. All right, here we go. Go ahead. Yeah. So this one's just going to go right here with it. Keeping most of the weight again. On now, my left foot. And don't be afraid to kind of let that knee just kind of go out. That'll give you some room for your torso as you work through this one here. Let you get over halfway through it. There we go, good. So we can put that weight down. We're gonna grab two arm weights on this one. And I'll make sure that I kind of stop our clock just a little bit just so you can see. So with our first one, we're going to hold our right arm, or hold our left arm, sorry. The other one, we're just gonna hold our right arm, or left arm, sorry, and going with that open curl, all right? So holding this parallel to the ground as we go through it, and then we're gonna switch up sides once we get done there. So here we go. So left arm holding, right arm moving. Just going right here, going up and down with your bicep as we hold this one in. Any upper body weight you need here. There you go, looking good. Keep this going over halfway through it. Almost there. There we go. Good. Take a moment, shake these up. This is going to go with the opposite side. So now my right arm is holding, left arm is moving. Here we go. So right here. Take them down. Nice and controlled with this bicep, really isolated out as you go through this curl. Holding on, using the core as we work through this as well. Get over halfway through it. That arm up. We got about 10 seconds left. There we go. Good. So this is just going to be a kickback with those two arms. Both arms going on this one. You can also alternate each one. So arms are up. Taking them back, just going right like that, alternating each one. There we go. Keep that going here. I know my alarm is going off. Let me know I'm getting close to that halfway point. So this is our halfway portion here. Round one. Looking good. We're halfway through this section. Last bit left, under 10. Keep squeezing out those arms. There we go, good. So this one here now, this is, we can switch to a wider weight here. This is just gonna go with a wide press first. So just going right here, pressing our arms on up. Just going up and down. Just going right there, that's it. And you had over halfway through it. Down to 10, 10 seconds left.
There we go. Two down. So we made it through that one, all right? Take a moment, check those out. There's going to be a narrow press, then we'll be all set with our first round, all right? Three, two, one. Here we go. Stop right on. And you can stagger your feet, kind of like I'm doing here, stagger your feet. You can also square them up. Remember, if you square up, making sure we don't have too much of a curve in that lower back. So we're keeping our core on. I like to kind of bend my knees. Looking good. Last but not here. Stay solid. There we go. Nice job. So take a moment. Shake those out. We're going to go right back into our same, same moves here. We're going to take that kettlebell. So with this first one here again, we're just going to go with our lunge, going back into our lunge. And we're going to go with that right hand, right leg moving. You can use your off hand to kind of keep it balanced by keeping it out right. Give yourself more of a base, all right? Take a moment, shake those arms out. And you're going to start off again, dumbbell or the kettlebell. Right arm, right leg moving, all right? Here we go. This is going to go back on the clock here in three, two, one, and here we go. Clock is going. Right arm, right leg moving. Here. Just go right on to it. i switch up. Uh, Routine here a little bit. We're going to stay with the same side. It's going up and down here. And you don't have to get quick. You just want to stay in good position as you work through. Here we go, good. So this is going to go to the opposite side here. Same exact thing. Going with the opposite side. Now I'm going to go harder. Let's get moving. Here we go. Here we go. Good job. So this one now, we switch this up. We're going to go instead of the deadlift, we're going to go with that 80 20. All right. So going with that weight, pulling it kind of more right here. Most of our weight on our right foot, loaded on our left. All right. Here we go. Go in again. Can you get that out? It's going up and down. And good, you're almost there, halfway through. Just working your way through that second half here now. You can see my leg is a little further out this time. Different variation, it's about the same. Just gives us a little bit different of a challenge here as far as position goes. There we go, good. So made it through that one, switch to the opposite side. So now our left foot is flat, loaded on our right. And begin. Good, we're halfway through. Keep working your way through that stuff and after. Here 
there we go. Good. So maybe through that one, this is just going to be into that deadlift here now, all right? So going with that deadlift, again, let me make sure that I have that the right way. Sorry, guys. So with this one here, going either with both arms, we're going to just go into one. We're going to go with our arm going down to that right foot or going down to the inside. And right hand going down to the inside of that left foot with our right foot back. All right. Here we go. We are beginning. So pop this going. I'm gonna have my right foot back. And my left foot sit like this down. And then coming on up. Remember, I come up and go all the way up. Then the six fully as you come up. That's it. We can get here. There we go. Good. So this is just going the opposite side. Same exact thing here. Go down, keep my right arm foot back. Left hand going down to the inside of the wrist. It's going to be for the upper body, all right? So, again, taking our weight, we're now going to be going camera curls, all right? So, pull both of your weights vertical, left arm is going, right arm is moving. So, we're just going to go right here, going up and down with that weight, all right? But we're still holding that one weight parallel to the ground as you work through. So, keeping our arms nice and even, they're nice at 90 degrees. We go. This is back on the clock in three, two, one, and we are on. So going with that camera on this side right here. And see it from the side. Good. So this one's just going to go now opposite side, doing that same exact thing here. So this one here, holding up, and this one here, moving. So holding on to that weight. Stay nice and controlled with it. Looking good. That way up. You are down to 10. 10 seconds left here. There we go. Good. So take a moment. I'm going to switch those weights out. And we're just going to go with our switching, these in, switching this up a little bit more. We're just going to go with those presses here. And we'll go with our narrow presses after that. Only a few left. We just had those two presses in our triceps. Go ahead and begin. So that clock is going with our press. It's going up and down. Good. 
get a brand for you. That's a bit left here. There we go. Good. So this is just going to be our narrow press after this, all right? So going with our narrow press, keeping our arms in line, still keeping those same weights here, right? Here we go. Go ahead and begin. Nice and controlled with your weights here. Over halfway through it. There we go. Good. Switch those out for your final one. Going with a tricep kickback, alternating each one here. Final move. This morning, here we go. Good. Halfway through, we're almost set. Squeezing those triceps. There we go. Good. Made it. I think we are almost almost right on time. I was a little bit late or a little bit early, I guess. So, but uh, hopefully that got you a pretty good amount of total body here today. Um, enjoyed the. Hopefully enjoy the sunshine. I guess it's supposed to be almost eighty today. Thanks again. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks, Michelle. Good seeing you both. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the heat. And uh, we'll see you guys the next time. Thanks again and take care.